Get ready for the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. It's still really damn it. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of the Still Real to Us show for August 30th, 2012, episode number 133 of the Still Real to Us show. I am Jeff Peck. Jeff Peck. We are in vacation mode as we get ready here to wind down in the summer, and this is a perfect time to welcome back the one and only editor of CamelClutchBlog.com, former host of Pro Wrestling Radio, and former original host of the Still Real Touch Show. Welcome back, everybody. Eric Argillo. Eric, it's been a while since I said this, but what's up, man? Not too much. It is a real pleasure to be back, real excited to be back on the podcast here. It's like coming home, Jeff. It's, uh, I would imagine this is what it's like when you get out of prison and you, you, know, you finally walk back uh, into your house. This is great. It's, uh, well, it's a fun time to be here. I apologize. I, I should have put something together like the WWE did with that whole coming home song like they did for The Rock for you. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I would expect a little more. I mean, we did the first 100 shows together. I'd expect a little more with that. What I'm pretty sure is that when news came out that you were rejoining us for this uh, special week, Eric Darcy, who, uh, by the way, will be co-hosting the show with me next week, and I'll explain that to you, Eric. Um, I, wait till you hear how this all led to with the whole Eric Darcy thing. I'll tell you that later on in the show. I'm sure he put together some sort of montage package of welcoming you back because... Um, I don't think there would be any welcoming committee more for Eric Arjula than Eric Darcy. That is true. That is true. Eric Darcy is a longtime Eric Arjula supporter, and I would uh, even go out on a limb here and call him a friend. He's a good dude, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited that it'll be on the, the podcast. You know, he's, a, he's, he's just like me and you, Jeff. You know, he, he loves his wrestling. Yeah, you know, he's been watching probably as long as as you and i have and um you know and and i believe uh like you he may even be a big packers fan so uh Ooh, really i thought yeah. he was a vikings guy uh he might be he might be you know packers vikings yeah uh, yeah it's all the same they all yeah. blend together all right. um so darcy will be on the show next week uh, eric darcy good friend of the show and program and fan long time listener um uh, but more importantly here eric like I always like to do here, and, and I don't care if we catch any heat for this from the fans because it's our show, and that's how we do it. But more importantly, before we start talking about wrestling, it's been about three months since you last joined us, or, or maybe two. I think it was the end of June. Yeah. Um, how is everything, man? How's everything? How's father life? How's, uh, how's the daughter? How's the wife? What's going on, man? Jeff, you know, I, I, you know, I won't go too much into it because I don't want to bore people, but, you know, it's um, – I can – honestly say with uh, a thousand percent conviction that being being a father to a little girl is just the greatest thing in the world it's just you know i just it's a blast i mean every day is just a great day to be alive every day is a lot of fun she's just a blast you know we're very very lucky and blessed to have a happy and and healthy daughter and i mean she just makes life uh so much more uh worth living and you know, I always, um, you know, I, I always thought that I was just, you know, that I couldn't be happier after I met my wife and, and, and we, uh, you know, we began dating and got married and all that stuff. But she is just, she's just a blast. She's just so much fun. She does something different every week. Um, you know, it's like, and, and I get home and I just feel guilty 
Um, you know, I mean, there's part guilt, but then there's just the part selfishness that I don't want to do anything else but just hang out with her because she's just she's just a blast. And our weekends, we usually keep free and just 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 hang out or go out places. I mean, you know, here's a, a typical day of uh, fatherhood. Jeff is, uh, you know, I was up at six thirty this morning uh, feeding the baby. Uh, when we finish up our podcast here, I'll probably heading to Babies Are Us to pick up a pack and play, and you know, it's just it, it's it's a different. It's it's a much different life. It's a very selfless life that you have that 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 you live when you do this because there's just you don't put a priority on yourself for for anything. You know if if you, if if there's something that you have to do and yet you know your 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 daughter um, has something or your daughter I mean your daughter just takes precedence in, in everything and anything. You know financially, you know intangibles, time. It's just uh, it's it's for me it's just the best way to live. I you know by by being, uh, I get so much joy out of her. Um, it, it's just, it's just a great way to live. You know, sometimes I go a little overboard. Uh, you know, I, some days I sit here and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, Nora needs music for her room. Maybe I should buy her an iPad or maybe I should wire her the whole house. And you know, I got to dial it back a little bit and say, all right, you know, she's, she's, she's 21 weeks old. You know, a girl doesn't need an iPad, but it's, uh, it's just, a, it's, it's a great time to, to be alive. And, you know, it's just for me, I, now, I'm not the same person, Jeff, to tell anybody, oh, you got to do this because, you know, because I like it. I like it because everybody's different. And everybody has different priorities in life. But for me, it's just the greatest, I mean, just by far greatest thing in the world. Now, I got to ask you a question, man, because the last time we had you on the show, and, and I think what's cool is um, I'm under the belief that at least a good portion of people that listen to this show either A, read wrestling blogs like the Camel Clutch blog, or at least write for wrestling blogs or blogs in general. Um, what's that been like for you, man? Because I remember when I talked to you two months ago, you were like, yeah, you know, there's sometimes that I just don't want to write a blog or, and I, and I got to go down and you feel a little bit guilty. Is there any moments? And I know you've helped build the CCB to where it is today at a, such a high standard for, um, a blogging community to whether it be wrestling, sports, fantasy, football, football in general, et cetera, et cetera. Is there any point where you're like, man, I just want to hang up the blogosphere for a little bit and just, you know, be a dad. Um, yeah, you know, there, there are times, um, where that, where that happens, you know, there's more times than not these days where there'll be like a big story that breaks. Like there was something that broke the other day, a UFC related story. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just having too much fun hanging out with Nora and I'm just not going to write about it today. And I'll, you know, I'll take the hit as far as not capitalizing on those visits and hits and things like that. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's a, it's a rough deal because, you know, being a blogger and, and having a blog that, you know, I like to, um, you know, have, having a popular blog, it's, you know, there's a lot of time, you know, you just don't, don't, don't get those numbers, you don't get that reputation by, by, by being lazy. I mean, you really have to be proactive and you really have to have to work hard and, you know, there's that conflict there. But again, you know, it's like at the, at the end of the day, if, if it comes down to time with her or the blog, you know, she'll get it. You know, the good thing about her, is she's so little that, you know, she takes naps every 90 minutes or so. So, you know, I might not get to that UFC story or that WWE story as quick as I did before. Like Abraham Washington's a perfect example. I think it's a blog about that. that He got, got canned in the afternoon. I know we're going to talk about that on Friday. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to write about that until Saturday morning when she took a nap. And it's like, you know what? It's I, I got to write about it. I have I have something to say on it. And, you know, I know that there are readers that come to the CCB that are looking for some kind of a story on it. So I'll get it up there. But, you know, uh, in the past, you know, be, before Nora, that story would have been up there at 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday. Now, um, you know, it might not get up there on Saturday morning. So it's just more of a shuffling. Sometimes I get stuff up there a little later. And I just try and work it around uh, her schedule. But yeah, you know, there, there are definitely times where I'm like, you know, I, I just – Wish I didn't have this, this blog hanging over. But at the same time, I've spent a lot of time and a lot of hours helping to, to, to get the CCB where it is. There are a lot of great writers and contributors like yourself that have spent a, a lot of extra hours and a lot of time helping me and, and, and helping bring the CCB to where it is today. And it's not fair to them either. And it's not fair to the good readers that have, you know, continually come to visit, you know, over the years, they can visit every day or a couple of days a week. So, you know, I have a little bit of an obligation there as well. So, 
Um, you know, CCB won't be going anywhere for a while. But yeah, there are some days where I'm like, man, you know, I wish I didn't have to stay up until 11:30 and and live blog on uh, Monday Night Raw. You know, put up Justin Henry's live blogs on Monday Night Raw, and at the same time, you know, Justin's putting in all that hard work. It's a little unfair for me to say, hey, can you wait until, until I put it up in the morning when you're sitting there blogging it live? So, yeah, it's a, a little bit of a conflict there.